Today, I'm going to build an object classifier using TensorFlow, a pre-trained network, and React. First, I created a folder to work in. I will call this Mood, with three O's, to emphasize the startupness of it all. I then created a node project with npm init, uh, as in initialize. I created the JavaScript file, which npm will launch, and that is uh, index.js. I can now bring in some tools that will help me along the way. I know that my backend application will need to listen in to a bunch of HTTP requests, so I added Express. I then connected Express to the Node HTTP module. This will allow Express to act on behalf of Node in terms of listening in to HTTP requests and responding to them. The last thing I do here is ask the server to listen in on port 80, or the environment variable port, whichever is available. I'm also bringing in TensorFlow.js to do all the heavy lifting. I'm importing TensorFlow TF.js and TensorFlow TF.js node, uh, which is TensorFlow core for JavaScript. I will also call on MobileNet, which is a convolutional neural network. This is the pre-trained network that can identify stuff from images. Formidable, Body Parser, and FS enable me to deal with uploads.
The last dependency I'm going to bring into my backend server is a little module called get image data, which is a tiny module that uses GIMP to convert images into numerical representations. I'm now ready to add an API endpoint with Express, which the React application is going to be able to fire requests to. The first endpoint that we're going to add is going to be app.post image, uh, and that's going to allow the user to upload an image to the backend, which we are going to pick up and process using Formidable. I've also added another API endpoint for dealing with URL requests. So this is if you don't want to submit the image from your machine, you just have a link uh, to an image from Pexels or Twitter or wherever the source might be, uh, you can then uh, input that URL into our React application and it will be able to fetch the image on behalf of the user. Now that that's done, I can turn my attention to writing a little function that's going to examine the image from the URL and return its classification. I call this function what is this, and it's going to take a URL as its input, and it's going to return a promise. The last thing I need to do here is ask Express to serve the static content that I'm going to place in the build folder. 
I chose build because that's where Create React app is going to export the build project to by default. Before moving any further, I can now test my endpoints with a REST client like Insomnia or Postman to check that everything is as it should be. This first run failed because I forgot to add the forward slash uh, before image. The next problem I encounter is that Insomnia is sending the file with the data tag of image rather than upload, whereas my code is expecting upload. So I can go ahead and fix that now. We can see here that the first test works. Uh, it was able to predict that this image is probably an Egyptian cat. I can now test the other endpoint for URL entry rather than file uploads. I can now turn my attention to the front end. I added Create React app to help me kickstart my project. And I created a React application called Client. I went ahead and installed Ant Design because it's my preferred front end design system at the moment. Axios is going to help with the HTTP requests. In app.js, uh, I can go ahead and start building my web page. I know that I want to be able to accept both an uploaded image and an image URL, so I added an upload component and an input component. It was now time to try and build my application. The first attempt to build the application failed because of a typo. And then it failed again because of the same typo somewhere else. Third time was the charm, I can now start my backend server and give it a little test drive. 
This is a good start. I can see that it was able to successfully identify a balloon from an image of a balloon. Sadly, I forgot to add the reset button, so to avoid having to refresh the page every time you want to start a new classification, uh, I'm adding a little reset button. This button is going to simply clear our state variables, so uh, the classification is going to get cleared and the URL is going to get cleared just in case. Time to rebuild the React application one last time. And we can give it another test. I'll start with this photo of the Border Collie, which it seems to be 73% sure that it's a Border Collie. That's a good start. I'm also going to test out the link. which it is able to identify as being jellyfish. It's a lot more sure about jellyfish being jellyfish than it is about dog being a dog. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching.